Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam with the top news of the day. The government has extended the stay of BNP chairperson Khalid Zia's sentence for another six months. Law Minister Anisul Haq confirmed the matter to News 24 on Wednesday. Earlier, on request of Khalid Zia for extension of the stay was sent to the Law Minister by the Home Ministry. The petition has been sent to the Home Ministry with an opinion to extend the stay of the sentence afternoon. The Home Ministry said that a notification would be issued soon. Khalid Zia's sentence would end on March 24th. With this, his sentence was suspended for five times. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokal Islam Alamgir said that no commission under Awami League would be able to hold fair elections. He made the remarks while participating in a Milad Mahfil in Manikonj on the occasion of the death anniversary of former Secretary General of the party, Khandakar Delwar Hussein. Meanwhile, Mirza Fokal alleged that the ruling party syndicate is responsible for the rise of commodity prices. Earlier, he said homage to the grave of Khandakar Delwar Hussein. He was accompanied by leaders and activists of the district and local BNP and its affiliates. Mesa Fokul said that the ruling party ministers and parliament members have no sense of responsibility towards the people. They are making fun of the people. He said the only demand of BNP is a fair election under a non-partisan government. Visiting Saudi Foreign Minister assured that the supply of fuel oil to Bangladesh would not be affected. A memorandum of understanding and agreement was signed in this regard. At the time, Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin said Saudi Arabia assured to complete all Hajj visa procedures in the country. After a courtesy call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Saudi Foreign Minister Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud arrived at Hotel Shonargao on Wednesday morning. At first, he sat in a bilateral meeting with the Foreign Minister. Later, the two ministers chaired the political consultation meeting between Bangladesh and Saudi Arabia. Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud laid the foundation stone of the Arabic Language Institute at Bosila in Karaniganj virtually. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said that Bangladesh wants peace, not war. However, if attacked, we must have the ability to respond appropriately. For this purpose, the armed forces, including the Air Force, are being modernized. She was speaking at a ceremony to include new training aircraft in the Air Force fleet. Twelve new Globe G120 TP training aircrafts from Germany added to the Air Force fleet. Another 12 more such training aircrafts, three new G115 training aircrafts, and seven simulators would be added Added to the Air Force fleet. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina joined the new aircraft induc induction ceremony from Gonabhavan. At the same time, the Prime Minister said Bangladesh Air Force is also being modernized, keeping pace with the world. The government is launching a special campaign on the occasion of Bangabundhu's birthday. In this campaign, 325 million people would be vaccinated, said Health Minister Zahid Malik. He made the remarks at a program organized by Health Department on Wednesday. The Health Minister said the special program of second dose vaccine, including booster doses, will continue throughout the month of March. The first, second and booster doses will run from 18th to 30, 31st March. He further said that the booster dose can be taken only after after four months. He also said that more than 22 crore vaccines have been inoculated so far, which is 75% of the total population. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.